Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Buddy. We are doing a fourth time revision of class 11th and class 12th in CRT Biology and this time we are doing it unit wise and today we are going to discuss 15 MCQs from the unit that you're seeing on your screen. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one. During gene cloning, which is called as gene taxi? Option A vaccine option b plasmid option c bacterium or option d protozoa during the process of gene cloning which of these four is called as a gene taxi the correct answer is option b that is plasmid which is a vector is called as gene taxi question number two restriction enzymes option a are present in bacteria and are involved in host restriction system Option B, cleave viral DNA inside bacteria. Option C, are enzymes involved in defense against bacteriophage or option D, all of these? The correct answer is option D, all of these define restriction enzymes. Question number three, plasmid has been used as a vector because it has antibiotic resistance gene it is a circular DNA which has capacity to join to eukaryotic DNA. Both ends show replication. It can move between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Plasmid is used as a, vac a vector. Why? The correct answer is option B because it is a circular DNA which has the capacity to join to eukaryotic DNA. Question 4. Any changes in gene frequency in a population is called as any changes in gene frequency in a population is called as option A gene flow option B genetic drift option C gene pool or option D gene conservation. The correct answer is option B that is genetic drift. Question 5. Introduction of food plants developed by genetic engineering is not desirable because Option A. These products are less tasty as compared to already existing product. Option B. This method is costly. Option C. Economy of developing countries may suffer. Option D. There is danger of entry of viruses and toxins with introduced crops. Introduction of food plants which have been developed through genetic engineering is not desirable because you have to identify which of these four is actually a disadvantage of genetically developed crops. The correct answer is option B. This method of genetically developing crop is quite costly. Hence, it is not desirable to introduce these food crops into the daily use. Question number six, who discovered restriction enzymes? Watson and Crick, Jacob and Monad, Nathan, Erbo and Smith, Boyer and Cohen. Who discovered restriction enzyme? The correct answer is option C, Nathan, Erbo and Smith discovered the restriction enzyme. Question seven, a genetically engineered bacteria used for clearing oil spills is option A. Escherichia coli, option B. Bacillus subtilis, option C. Agrobacterium tumefaciens or option D. Zudomonas putida. The correct answer is option D. That is Zudomonas putida has the function of clearing the oil spills and it is a genetically modified or genetically engineered bacteria. Question 8. A bacteriophage is a option A. Virus that parasitizes a bacteria. Option B. Bacterium with a lysed membrane. Option C. PPLO or option D. Mycoplasma infecting bacteria. The correct answer is option A that is virus that parasitizes a bacteria is called as bacteriophage. Question number nine, maximum application of animal cell culture technology today is in production of 
इंसुलिन इंटरफेरॉन्स एडिबल प्रोटीन और वैक्सीन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी टूडे द मैक्सिम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सेल कल्चर टेक्नोलॉजी इज यूज इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैक्सीन क्वेश्चन टेन यूज ऑफ ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट्स एज बायोलॉजिकल फैक्ट्रीज फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स इज कॉल्ड एज ऑप्शन ए मॉलिक्यूलर फार्मिंग ऑप्शन बी मॉलिक्यूलर जेनेटिक्स ऑप्शन सी मॉलिक्यूलर मैपिंग और ऑप्शन डी ड्राई फार्मिंग यूज ऑफ ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट्स एज अ बायोलॉजिकल फैक्ट्री फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सर्टन स्पेशल केमिकल्स इज कॉल्ड एज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज मॉलिक्यूलर फार्मिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन टेक्निक ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्लांटलेट्स बाई टिश्यू कल्चर मेथड इज कॉल्ड एज प्लांटलेट कल्चर माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन ऑर्गेन कल्चर मैक्रो प्रोपोगेशन टेक्निक ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्लांटलेट्स बाई टिश्यू कल्चर मेथड इज करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व स्ट्रक्चर इन्वॉल्व इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज ऑप्शन ए प्लास्टेड ऑप्शन बी प्लास्मेड ऑप्शन सी कोडॉन और ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज स्ट्रक्चर इन्वॉल्व इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज प्लास्मेड एंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज प्लास्मेड इट इज अ एक्स्ट्रा न्यूक्लियर क्रोमोजोमल मटीरियल विच कैन बी यूज एज अ वेक्टर टू ट्रांसफर जीन्स इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन थर्टीन जीन थेरेपी हैज बीन इंप्लीमेंटेड इन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ऑप्शन ए एडीए डेफिशियंसी ऑप्शन बी इंसुलिन प्रोडक्शन ऑप्शन सी कैंसर थेरेपी और ऑप्शन डी एड्स ट्रीटमेंट जीन थेरेपी हैज बीन इंप्लीमेंटेड इन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज एडीए डेफिशियंसी हैज बीन ट्रीटेड विथ जीन थेरेपी क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन Genetic engineering aims at option A destroying wild gene option B preserving wild gene option C curing human diseases by introducing new genes or option D all of the above The correct answer is option C with genetic engineering we can cure human diseases by introducing new genes in place of the genes that have been mutated Question number 15 Golden rice is a transgenic crop of future with the following improvement trait which of the following trait is improved in golden rice insect resistance high protein content high vitamin a content or option d high lysine content the correct answer is option c high vitamin a content because of the presence of the carotin the golden rice appears golden in color that's how it got its name So those are the 15 MCQs for today. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of 15 MCQs. And the topic for tomorrow's MCQ session would be the next unit of NCERT Biology. So read all the chapters of next unit and attempt the tomorrow's MCQ session. So that would be all for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.